channel. My name is Leora if you're new here. So if you didn't catch my last video, I'll give you a chance to do that right now. Hopefully it'll pop up here somewhere. Okay, so now that we know that I am accepted to dental school, I thought it'd be fun to do a video about some expectations I have going into dental school and hopefully look back a year from now and see how accurate or totally wrong some of my expectations were. So expectation number one, I think that I won't have much free time. And I feel like this is a pretty good expectation considering all the information out there about dental school and how rigorous it is. I'm sure I'll be in class Monday through Friday, about nine to five almost every day. And then studying after that, and probably studying on the weekends, clinic, you know, I don't know how rigorous it's gonna be, but I know it's gonna be intense. So I am expecting to not have much free time. <laughs> Expectation number two, I will get A's and B's. So I had been an A student up until high school, and then in college, and my master's program, I was not a 4.0 student. So I think it's fair for me to expect that I'll get A's and B's in dental school. I have a good understanding of a lot of the sciences by now, and I don't expect to get straight A's, but I obviously will strive for that, but realistically, I think I'll probably get A's and B's. Hopefully nothing worse than that, but again, dental school is rigorous, and time is gonna be very valuable and I'm not sure like how much I'll be able to spend on everything so let's expect A's and B's and hope that I don't get anything less than that. Expectation number three, I'll get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. Now some of you are probably like hearing that and thinking I'm crazy. I am not sure how realistic that one is. It'll be so interesting to me to see how much sleep I get every night in a year from now, my body has always loved sleep. I can comfortably, you know, have about nine, 10 hours of sleep and I'm good. Like that's what my body loves. That's the sweet spot for me. Three words for you, treat, yo, sell. So I'm saying seven to eight because I'll probably sleep less than I do now. But I think that's a good number to obviously still be healthy, but that is still less sleep than what I'm getting right now. <laughs> Expectation number four, I will study at home more than the library. And this one is just kind of based on the fact that I know that I won't be home a lot during the daytime. And so hopefully when I do have to study, I can study at home and it'll be a good environment for me to study because I want to be home as much as possible and spend time with my dog and my husband so that's why I say that. If I find that my study environment at home is not ideal, then I obviously will study at the library or somewhere else instead. So we'll, this again will be a good one to look back on and see if it's true. <laughs> Expectation number five. I will be average when it comes to hand skills. This is kind of just more of something I hope for more than anything. I don't want to be terrible at hand skills. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. I don't think anybody does. And then if I'm good at hand skills, awesome. But I'm not expecting that. I hope that I'm average. I expect to be average, hopefully. I'm sure there's going to be some things that I struggle at, and that's okay. But I imagine I'll probably be about average. Oh, I don't know if it's wrong to say that, but I imagine I'll be about average when it comes to hand skills. Yeah, so those are my five expectations of dental school. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I'll see you, see you later.